my god. Where is he? Ah, oh, he keeps hitting me! Holy shit, I only got one life left! John here, guys, and today we're talking about Z-Tag, the drone-mounted laser tag system that you can buy for your local crew of drone pilots and add another dimension to your drone flight. Up until today, there's been three types of flying that you can do. You can go cruising, go racing, and you can go freestyling. Well, now there is a fourth option. You can go Z-tagging. Z That's right, Z-tagging. Um, and we in the Houston crew were lucky enough to become one of the testing communities for this product. We've been running it for quite a while. And yes, we were sad that Rotor Riot beat us to the first video. For those of you like us <clears throat> that live in a city, we don't have uh, unlimited places to fly and we don't live in Detroit where half of the buildings in town are abandoned so <laughs> finding bandos is a little tricky so what gives you more excitement when you're flying it's adding another layer of uh, fun onto it so this is a mounting design that I made this little arm bracket right there this is designed to go onto a racing drone so you would mount it um, between the battery and your quad right there now this little uh, TPU shroud is provided the files are provided by the ZTAG team and you have a little board in there that has sensors and buttons. Now there's five LEDs across the top that face outward and five that face inward. That represents your life bar. So you start with five lives essentially. You go around flying around. There is two sensors in there, one that receives fire and one that fires outward. And so you're always shooting as you're piloting, you know, just like Star Wars. If you were to just fly, play that Star Wars game where you're like, you know, shooting TIE fighters and you never take your finger off of the trigger, that's essentially what this is like. You don't have to push a trigger because it's always firing. All you have to do is get behind your opponent, line it up. The default range on this is about three meters. So if you get within three meters, line it up. Uh, you will register a hit. When you register a hit, the lights will start flashing, indicating that you hit somebody. When you get hit, the lights will start flashing in a slightly different pattern, and then your life bar will go down by one. So if you had five lives, then you'll have four. When your lives drop to zero, you are essentially done. Another really cool feature about this is you have about five or you have six or seven colors that you can choose. It's red, purple, blue orange um, so you can switch your color that essentially switches your team so you can do teams two on two three on three as you're flying around fighting each other and what's cool is when you actually die your color will switch to the color of the person that killed you so if i was going up as red and lamone was going up as blue if i turn blue i know that he's the one that took me out of the game so pretty cool feature right there the other cool thing is this powers on via a balance connector it's powered by your quads battery uh, so you don't have to wire anything up to your flight controller these units, I built several that are kind of in this configuration and we could just hand them out at the night spot and let anybody try it. Um, I didn't have to take apart my quad in order to fly it. I just literally strap it on, plug my uh, battery into the XT60 connector and then plug the ZTAC system into the balance connector. Super easy, super fast. And you don't have to give much explanation to the players. The person who's running the game, it basically everyone sets their quads on the line. The person that's running the game pushes the A button. That starts a 20 second timer. The lights will start flashing and then it'll start flashing in a countdown. So that gives everyone 20 seconds to get to their spot, put their goggles on and take off. After that runs, they'll start flashing rapidly and the game has begun. It is now attack mode. Now, a couple of important notes. The sensors and the lights to be seen, you really have to play this in low light or darkness. Um, the nice spot is plenty dark for that, but 
in bright daylight, it's not really gonna work. You notice that Rotor Riot ran it inside of an abandoned building. That was dark enough for them to be able to play, but you're not gonna be able to fly this in bright sunlight. Parking lots, things like that, shopping centers where no one's around, schools, these are gonna be the best places to play Z-Tag. You're gonna want enough light to be able to see. Speaking of being able to see, the DJI system works really, really well with this. Yes, you can still run analog or even shark bite, but DJI works particularly well, especially in the parking lot at the night spot. If you turn the DJI system and your goggles onto LED mode, the image is absolutely great. So I'll show you some images of LED mode and non-LED mode. This was surprisingly fun. Um, the Houston crew had a fantastic time. We refined this mount a little bit. One of the things about our racing quads is that we have a fixed angle in here of about 45 degrees. So we noticed over time that I needed to redesign this mount. As it was, you would end up pointing down a little bit. So in order to target someone in this configuration, you'd want to be slightly above and behind them. So I'm going to um, adjust this to where it's a little more in line with the view. Now, Lamon figured this out the fastest. I thought all of my years of gaming experience was gonna give me a, a leg up and allow me to dominate. I was wrong. Yvonne's better pilot skills allowed him to be able to figure out very quickly if he just got behind someone and then pitched up and he was able to just land hits at will. Um, the other thing is you don't want a giant area to do this. In. The entirety of the night spot was a little bit too big. So we set a boundary like you would in a video game. So let's stay within this section of the parking lot. Let's not go above the light posts so that you kind of force the action. We were able to get three or four people flying at a time on this. It's something that you can do at a race as well. Me and Joe Mama decided to take this onto a race course. See, because the thing is, if you're oh, at a night race me. like we do, everybody has to pause in order for one of these Z-Tag games to go on, even people that are not playing. And so after a while, they were kind of like, okay, are we gonna race some more because we're all just waiting here. So you can't do it indefinitely if you're at a race, but what you can do if you agree with the other people in your racing heat is decide to go on the race course and attack each other during the race. That was another level of gameplay that we achieved here and it was quite fun. It was like, do you wanna to decide to win the race or do you wanna to decide to get destroyed in Z-Tag? He was shooting me when we were still on the line. Yeah, he shot me three times on the line. <laughs> That's what you deserve. <laughs> what That's happened? Fucking fun, it's a man. <laughs> I kind of like that shit. Like who Stop stayed around the track? Who stayed behind? I did. Yeah, then why I did? I couldn't figure out Joe why. Joe came. Beginning. Joe came and turned around the flag and didn't win. And because this is running. this is kind of reverse racing. You gotta stay behind. Right. Otherwise, right. you don't like you know. Right. right. He, tried, he tried to let me go first. Mr. Johnny, where's your where's your strategy? I think this time we got over the head on the track for the first time. <laughs> I take that, and then you Johnny. got lit up. Hey, I take that. Johnny was getting it, boy. I take that. Give him that false hope. Johnny say, Charles, Charles got three years up one more time. This is not crazy. I lost Sea Tag, but I won the race. Charles got three years up. Man, it's crazy how much I was full throttle. It's a nice part. That's how we do it. Joe decided to hang back a little bit behind me, so I felt confident, like I'm winning the race, I'm ahead, and he was just blasting me the whole time, so that was pretty fun right there. The Z-Tag team has actually managed to come up with a live streaming platform that will allow you to stream multiple Z-Tag um, views from your DJI system. Uh, we're gonna see if we can try that out here. Check out the Z-Tag guys channel for more information on how to do that. So that's coming. They may have solved the answer between um, behind DJI live streaming technology right there. The Z-Tag team is also working on other mounts. They have a mounting system that they're gonna be releasing for the Switchback Pro. So that is probably the most popular racing frame 
on there. Speaking of racing frames, we found that it was better to reduce your speed. So if you're flying Freedom Spec and you run a 3S battery on a 6S quad, that's what you're gonna wanna do here. You wanna reduce the speed because a full 6S racing quad is a little bit too fast, but when we put it on 3S, we were able to slow down enough to really get some of that combat action. If you've ever flown the combat in Velocity Zone, it's similar to that, but real life, really exciting. I'm also working on a mount to go on an RC car. The ZTAG guys have done the same. I have a larger RC car that I'm testing. I was able to hand one of these units to one of the newer pilots in town. It's actually this unit right here. And he was skilled enough to navigate the course, but by adding this extra layer of complexity, he had a hard time, he crashed. It did break one of the units. Um, now that was a pretty hard crash and I didn't protect them as well as I could have. So that's on me. I told him, don't worry about it. That's what we wanted to find out right there. But by mounting it on an RC car, you can have sort of like a GI Joe battle land and air. And they're also working on other types of gameplay modes. One where the um, tagging system would act like a ball so that you could pass balls back and forth to play any type of game like that or you can have like a chase the golden stitch. So have like a Z tag drone game of Quidditch. How cool is that? Oh yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to race. I was just trying to stay behind him and shoot him up. <laughs> I would have lost the race, but. I was over there racing and Joe's just shooting. <laughs> I'm ready. I was gonna try to light you up and then pass you, but that's what they wanted to know if, if you could actually do it on a course and it wouldn't be fun. It's, it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun on the course. I mean, you Go. can't really race the course for time, but because you have to consciously like stop when you want to line up the shot and level out, which slows you down. So you can't really position race unless you first win the game and then you can race. race. Things flashing red, the same color that he is. He killed me in like two minutes. Um, so if you're wondering if you can finish a game before your battery finishes, he killed me almost right away. He's obviously been training at home. Well, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe my gun is more powerful. <laughs> it's pretty fun, I, I guess. Like, I yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be really nice to, to have like a trigger to shoot, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next time. So I told them that you are Beta Flight developer because they have these pads right here. Yeah. Maybe they could hook it into a UART to put something on the OSD. Something like that, yeah. If you put on the OSD, then you don't even need to see the lights. And well, yeah, but, the we, but then we need analog if you want to put on OSD. 
because uh, it's, it's hard to get to the DJI OSD? It's basically impossible now. <laughs> we can get it on Sharkbite OSD, I guess. Oh, Sharkbite? But nobody yeah. runs Sharkbite. I don't know, I've, I've seen some people running Sharkbite. So do you think people would do this at a race? Or could you even see it during the day, I guess, too? Maybe like, you know, like in between the heat, something for fun. Like sometimes we're running like, just like uh, circles, laps through the Stargate for fun. We can just put this, especially if it's like an easy stuff like this. You just Yeah, you just, just slap it on. Yeah, yeah, and so then it's ready. We could use some refinement, but yeah, we made this good. mount that goes for kind of universal race quad. You just slap it on. If you have UMA grip or some kind of silicone, it holds it on a little bit better. Yeah. I just like double side tape it. So uh, even if I take off the battery, it stays there. Oh, shit, see? Yeah. Pretty good, pretty and then good. just two zip ties, pretty quick. Yeah, I like it. So they're working on a mount for the 533 switchback. Uh, so that's gonna come out. That's a popular frame. I think this will work pretty good for 533 too. Yeah. Like you just. But it's pretty fun. Like I was trying to shoot you, like try to shoot you, and then I see it blinking, so I I got you. It was pretty fun. Yeah. And sometimes it's like I feel like five meters sometimes. Yeah, it's got decent range. I think yeah. they said default is four meters. Um, and you can reduce it, but for this much space, four meters is probably good. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Like we define the area like around this uh, trash container, around the tree, around the pole. That's it. So we can go up, down. Um, yeah, when we hide did behind it, the tree. when we did it open, we figured out it was hard to find anybody. Kill that motherfucker! I couldn't find yeah. Joe. <laughs> Joe was fine. I couldn't find him. Uh, I couldn't find Don. And I couldn't find Nico. Nico I can was see flying. you pretty good. Yeah. I can well, it's like I could lights. see him, but it, it wasn't until you pointed out the fact that it's pointing down with our mount a little bit. I was like, yeah. oh, you need to be a little on top of them. Yeah, I was following like right on your ass, like pointing at you. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? What no, the I fuck? was doing like literally. So if the, John is flying here, I throttle to catch him and then I level. Uh, and then it wow. gets him. And then like I fly away and then again throttle with him and like <laughs> Goddamn professional. I wasn't even Figured thinking about the fact that the shit fucking Oh Oh loose prop loose prop loose, loose prop. prop Come on Sam Nasty prop First he fries his yeah. goggles but, uh, it's, then it's he pretty fun. I mean prop. I like it right. yeah. Good job Z Tag Z Tag Drone laser yeah, keep tag. it going. Keep it going. Yeah, I keep it going. Fun. They bring it down to like. Is yeah. there like a three print for the back so you can kind of protect this shit? If you yeah, yeah. There's multiple other prints. Um, I just got lazy and only did the pair. <laughs> I honestly think uh, I don't know. Like even the the cool thing about it that you just like you don't have to you don't have to solder anything to your flight controller. It yeah. just works. I can like disconnect it and have my my normal yeah. regular drone. Just like two zip ties. So this is good stuff. So maybe the like OSD and connection and the trigger is not that important. Yeah. Yeah. Now maybe the trigger would be annoying. Unless you're on like and a maybe bar, annoying, yeah, but also be really but also probably cool, especially for like velocity drone combat guys, because yeah. they used to like to yeah. this trigger or button. That'd be cool. But the beauty of this, like, I don't have to modify my drone. It's just yeah, you just plug it on, put it on. When yeah, you want and it's, use it, and uh, and it's it. working, and you it's working. Yeah. So that when we have like head-on collision, like then yeah, because I I noticed like, that, that was, but that was more like so you can only shoot head-on or from the back. I think from the back from the, mostly. Feels like from the back. I think most of the time I got it from the back. Yeah, yeah. from the back. The VR review will show, but yeah, I was also always trying to like get behind you and then shoot because I knew you were shooting in front. So I, don't, I didn't want to be in front yeah. of you. Yeah. Don kill, has to switch back, you bro. twice like that quick? Like, what was that about? <laughs> he, figured, he figured it out. He figured it out. He was like, if, <laughs> yeah, he get like, behind him and then like, like level out. He had yeah. you up there blinking a lot. I was like, all right, I've been playing games for a lot longer than Yvonne. Maybe not, but that's what yeah, my well, assumption was. Really I was like, I was going to kill him and then he killed me. Um, <laughs> maybe my gun is so more powerful. Drone pilot skills are better than gamer skills for this. Uh... <laughs> well, yeah, like that's uh, kind of force you to do like sometimes weird maneuvers you usually don't do. LED working pretty good because I saw you all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, is it like a little... There's LEDs on both sides, so like, you oh, can yeah, see yeah, him, yeah, and then yeah. there's on the front. Too. Because I was worried that like I don't so, have LEDs. So every time uh, he lined up, you would flash. Is that what? They, yeah. That was, yeah, right? yeah. So I probably could, like I could tell every, as soon as he hit time. me. Yeah. And okay. it's probably then like gives you like probably five seconds of like immunity. Yeah. yeah. And then again. And then again, yeah. Yeah. And then and I so, think, and then at one point you were just solid red. 
Yeah, that like once once out. it all goes like. But here's but your LEDs are red. Yeah, so when you kill someone, um, they turn your color. So that's how you know like who killed you. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's cool. So like, if there was a bunch of us all playing, so I'd Will, be like, Will okay. can be different colors. So I was red. He was blue. Yeah, um, that's that pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, so you know exactly who got you. That's like, nice. Yeah. If you're tired of going to the same old flight spots and doing the same old tricks, now you can go to those same spots and all of a sudden you have a totally new level of gameplay at your fingertips. Really cool job, ZTag. They're going to keep developing this system. They're going to keep adding new features. Um, we're going to keep showing those to you in future videos. So look forward to playing with the ZTag system a little bit more. Thanks, guys.